Hey everybody, we're on Queen Street. It's April 2021, probably April 19th in Toronto, Canada. We are heading east. We're heading west, aren't we? <laughs> Lost tourist. Beautiful. Let's listen to Scott from his Street musicians are the best. You know, they gotta have lots of skills. Anyway, so we're heading west in Queen Street. We're gonna turn on. I'm going to explore Ossington area up to about, I think, Dundas or something. Small block. Do a look see. Check it out. Here we are. The skies was pretty dark. Uh, my phone app says it's going to rain. 100% chance of rain. And I say phone apps are 100% wrong all the time. So we see. It's supposed to rain already, 100%, but it's not. I'm actually ready for rain, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for rain. I'm looking forward for rain. To rain. It's a little construction thing going on here. That building's interesting. Check it out. Took a parking lot. A little bit of a street food happening. A little bit of a Jimi Hendrix. That is Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was a great guitar player. Oh, it is raining now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. I don't know what that building is. It says Toronto Western Hospital. That definitely does not look like a hospital to me. But ugh, I don't know. Oh, I better get the umbrella out before getting the mics and my other camera wet. All right, I got this funny color umbrella. Nothing special. Ah, great. All right, ready? Whew. Wow, it's coming down. As soon as I said the app was wrong, the rain gods have said, oh yeah? Oh, we're gonna give you some rain. You know what my pet peeve is? Having this thing in front of you when you're walking. When they photograph uh, the presidents, usually they have that on too. Okay, this is a cool shot of this situation here. Oh my God, wonderful. This is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, let's go. Okay, keep my camera away. <clears throat> We're walking on Ossington in Toronto. April, raining, temperatures about icing. 8 degrees Celsius, which is probably 190 Fahrenheit. Yeah, about 190 Fahrenheit. I'm just guessing, just guessing. Well, we have to give uh, temperatures in Fahrenheit, Kelvins, and Celsius. I like Kelvins but personally better myself. They're like, it's like meaningless. The temperatures are meaningless because it depends if it's w windy or not. If it's windy, then the whole thing is meaningless. You know, even a like a nice warm day with a heavy cold winds, it's gonna be pretty chilly. And if it's really cold and it's sunny and, you know, it's like a nice, very romantic alleyway. Hope there's no cars coming at me. I love those trees with no leaves on them and they're getting, the leaves are getting more and more. Let me check the light meter. Put the Fuji on my belt. Pull out the, it's not bad, it's not bad. That's not bad, it's not bad. It's kind of gloomy, huh? It's gonna be a gloomy film, this one. What did you do on a Sunday? It's a good thing I wasn't on a bike. Yesterday I went for a great bike ride with great light. Oh, the lighting was fantastic. I was debating whether I should go biking again or not. And 
Uh, I decided to do some street filming. And uh, here we are. It's like a little shops. This place uh, would be rocking in a non-lockdown situation. I think we're under a lockdown. What's this? This is a food place. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. Well, I stopped eating ice cream a while ago. Try to cut down sugar and then ice cream became kind of no point to eating ice cream it was all sugar what's this thing a cute grocery store very cool very cool are we there yet we're almost there the rain kind of slowed right now oh, too bad i like that sound of the rain hitting the umbrellas you know it was kind of cool These bikers were hiding from rain because they're wearing shorts and spandex. And when they left the house, it was pretty warm and exciting. And now they're, you know. There's people placing orders on the phone and then coming out to pick them up. What's going on here? That's a good. It's very important to keep the camera gear dry in the rain because once the even if they're waterproof some cameras are you know these action cameras are waterproofs and all that but once the lens get wet you're out of action because then you got smudgy and how about a shot here of this guy on a bike and a truck maybe come on come on come on all right it just shows the hello Hello. I gotta keep getting that stupid strap in the shot. This is my pet peeve. She just cut the strap off the umbrella. <laughs> but, you know, I'm borrowing this umbrella, so it's like another alleyway with all these alleyways have this gra graffiti on them and art. Art. All right. That's going to be a empty lot for something at some point. Let's keep going. Da, da, da. Gotta get my app back on. Look at this couple of stores. That's a nice building on my left. Here we go. Here we go. I like that building. It's one of those old buildings that's, uh, I don't know if it's closed or going to be closed, but I can't get the app going, which is annoying. I like usually to monitor, see what the, the YouTube cam sees. Uh, it's nice to have it, but the app is. This camera is really good, but the problem with this camera is the app. It's ridiculous. It just takes forever to connect, you know? Like it asks you three or four times, are you sure you want to connect to your own camera? Of course I am. It's my camera, it's my app. Yes, I, you know, overly secure, fake security where, you know, keeps asking if you want to connect. Yeah, I'm already logged in, it's my account. It's, you know, I don't know. So once it gets disconnected, it takes like almost 20 minutes to connect back on. You have to turn the camera on and off. And, you know, if you're in the middle of filming, then you are really kind of it's very nice. The lights are getting better. The lights are getting exciting. See, it's not, it's not, it's not connecting. I know the camera's on because the, the record light is on, which I usually turn it off because I don't want... I, wanted, I don't want people seeing I got the recorder on and all that, but it somehow got turned on randomly. Randomly. Look at that uh, framing store across the street. 
see. It's like it's like a one building, one story building, framing. We'll pass by. See how it's doing. Framing would be a very tough online business, I am assuming. Not sure. Could it be? Oh, that's great. Pizza outside on a sidewalk. Watching the rain on a skinny sidewalk, too. Skinny sidewalks. Toronto sidewalks are all skinny. This one is like, you know, they have all these poles and bicycle things added to them. So to make the sidewalk very small, you can't really put any, you know, tables and stuff on a sidewalk like this. You could, but you'd really be on top of everybody. Let's go a little bit this way and then see what's going on. And then we turn around. We'll do a turn around. The light is gorgeous, but I can't see because the app is off. That interesting restaurant across there. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let me see. Let's hold on. Hold on. We're getting to you. I'm trying to center myself. So if I decide to take a photograph, I'm centered properly. There you go. That's a nice place. Let's get these people out of the shot a little bit. And one guy is good. I'm going to get that guy right here. It's a cool restaurant. A look back shot this way in the rain and we'll go further a little bit explore this area and then go back it might not be anything cool here yeah. it's like a neat alleyway with parking sort of thing these parking lots are great this uh, city these are all city parking lots you can always find they're relatively inexpensive in the city and I think at some point they're all going to go away because the land is very precious that we're sitting on and there's only one story. So they might be taken over soon by the developers and made into a big condo on a couple of stories, parking grounds underneath the ground and you know. I like the reason I don't like those underground parking lots, like really tough to get. If you have to go somewhere in and out quickly, you know, you got to go three, four stories down and you got to wait for a ticket and then you have to drive up around and around and around. And it's just, it's just too much, too much hassle, you know, for just trying to park, you know, on a corner and getting out and that's a neat, uh, the lighting on this uh, scene is very good more than anything else. I want to see if that can get that guy to come in the shot a bit like this. Ah, cool. Wow, the light on this street is gorgeous. I hope, I hope it shows in the camera. Ah, loving this. This street is Dundas, I think, isn't it? It's Dundas. Yeah, we're getting to Dundas and Shaw. These posters are always interesting because as time changes, these posters kind of get dated nicely. Oh, this was to be a garage. Wow. Whoa, look at this lighting. Everything looks good in a light like this. It's just become silly. Let's do a turnaround of this garage. And that guy with an umbrella. Oh my God, that's nice. That guy in the umbrella gets closer. It would be nice. Maybe not. Wow, the lighting is absolutely beautiful. Wow. How much water do I have on the lens? Not much. Not much, not much. This is gorgeous. I think I can put the umbrella away now. But let's just keep it. Right, and then across the street here. Uh, I'm gonna stop here for a second, regroup in the rain, and uh, start heading out again soon.
And we're back. Problem solved. I find that usually with this, wow, with this uh, electronic stuff, you want to, ah, I like those guys in the shot too. And the one without them maybe. I like that tree. I usually find that when you, uh, that guy's doing parkour. Good, good. <laughs> I find that usually with uh, electronic problems, computers, you want to turn them on and off, reboot it, it usually gets the stuff going. There's a story that reminds me of a time I was in New York, coming back, and we had a problem with the plane, things weren't going on and off, and you know, they kept waiting and kept sending some people in the cockpit trying to fix the computers, and you know, the 10 minute delay turned into two hours, and, you know, and I remember me yelling at, you know, just restart the plane, you know, like, just trying to goof around. Because when you have a delay on a plane, there's really you can't get stressed, right? There's nothing you can do. You're helpless on a plane, right? So you might as well have fun with it, right? You never try to get upset. You just have fun, you know? And I remember shouting, restart the plane. And sure enough, like 15 minutes later, you know, the pilot comes on and he goes, you know, we're going to turn off all the engines. The entertainment uh, devices will go off. And uh, you'll be very quiet for about 10, 10 minutes. And then we start the engine. Hopefully it works. And I said, I told you so, you know, from the back of the plane, some guy yelling, I told you so, like really idiotic, but always good to have fun on the plane. Ah, good times on the plane, good times on the plane. I spend my time traveling on a plane, shooting out of the window, doing wing shots and making vlogs and all sorts of stuff to pass the time because otherwise you get stressed waiting for the, you know, delays, it's always delays, you know. It's, Airliners delay all the time. Ah, the light isn't as good anymore. We lost the sun. The light coming up was great. The delayed robbed us of the beautiful light. But that's okay. We'll get even. This is the diner I photographed from the other side of the road. Looks nice. I did take a photo. Maybe take a photo. See what it looks like inside. A little bakery. And a look back shot. Oh, the left fire. This camera was set on really high speed action. Action. What are we at? We're shooting 250th of a second. 250th of a second, it's not fast enough to be running around and taking shots. You will get some blurry action. We're going to travel from, let's go on the other side. Go, 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 go. Let's go across the street on this side and then see what happens on this side. It's a nice uh, old school convenience, a down shot of the street. I'm very low battery on my uh, Fuji. Uh, I have an extra battery, but again, it's my backpack. I should really put the batteries in my pocket, but the problem is uh, I have way too much stuff in my pocket. Uh, I got batteries for this camera, the, the microphone batteries, and it's, uh, my pockets are bulging. You know, I'm wearing these loose pants and bulging pockets. Little tools, little small pen knife, and what else do I have there? Um, alcohol spray, of course. Of course. This is a very interesting. She looks like, what are you doing? We're just taking photos. This camera is, uh, when you shoot street photography, you should have your camera on all the time, not let it turn off. Once it's turned off, when you want to turn it back on, it takes too much time. And I'm trying to save battery and I'm turning it off. And every time I go to turn it on, uh, it's just a few extra seconds and, you know, camera's thinking. This camera is um, pretty old. It's like two years old. And I mean, uh, the counter on it says it has over 
100,000 pictures. So I've taken over 100, it stopped counting at 100,000 last year. So I'm assuming he's got 150, 160, the conservatively uh, estimating it is taken. So it's pretty burnt out. So things are, sometimes it's acting a little bit slow. The record store is open. I don't know how essential, non-essential works, I, although music is very essential. I mean, everything is essential. If it wasn't essential, you wouldn't have it on the street, you know, laundromat. You wouldn't have it on the street. That's a cool alleyway shot. buildings I wonder what they used to be there before to turn them down turn them into very uniform Soviet type buildings if it's Soviet Union would still be around they probably would have those type of buildings everywhere I'm assuming you yeah. know it's like a sushi place or a Japanese Cool street. Yeah, cool street. Huh? Yeah, so this area is this area. I always want to explore this area and see what they have. What's going on here? And we are doing it. Although coming up here the light was better. Light's still good. Light's still good. Can't complain. The building permits. This guy is heavy duty. There's a beer, wine, and sushi place, but he's like really protected. I like this thing too. I wonder what they're gonna build here. Just like a very odd shot of a lions. Lions? Whatever thing. And action. And bang. He's got like his booze and stuff. I don't know if it's a booze store or it's something. Funky store. Very boutique stores. These doors are pretty cool too. These doors are pretty interesting doors. Very interesting. I like that. Oh, motorcycle store. Ooh. Check this out. 1970s motorcycles. Yeah, it's like a bike shop of some sort of clothing and That's a pretty cool looking bike. 1970s bikes were, I don't like taking too many verticals for the video, but 1970 bikes were probably the best. You know, the Yamahas, the YZs, and the Scramblers, and Kawasaki's, and you know, what else? There was Can-Ams, the British American bikes. Uh, and they had the um, Czechoslovakian Husqvarna's. Anybody know what a Husqvarna? I don't even know if they make them anymore. Montessas. Uh, we had the Spanish bikes, famous trial bikes called Montessas. Used to climb everything. And uh, CZ. Uh, Husqvarna was yeah. Husqvarna was very popular. Still around. And there was another bike uh, the Czechs made was called CZ. CZ. Pretty pretty cool looking bikes. You know the 70s bikes were classic. Everybody says 70s cars were classic, true, true, they're cool, but 70s motorcycles were gorgeous, you know, and uh, all these trials bikes, they were street legal, they were uh, street legal bikes that you could ride on the trail and on the road, and I mean, you know, then 80s, after 80s, it was 90s, and then they started, the, the bikes so popular were these, uh, uh, you know, what do they call them, crotch rockets, the, the race bikes, you know, that the only job they had was to outrun the cops, you know. Cops couldn't catch you with it because you could fly at 300 kilometers an hour down the highway and no cop would ever be able to catch you in that, right? And that was the only purpose, but also you could kill yourself easy on those. The uh, 70s bikes were just cute, you know, cute and gorgeous. I don't know if you should call a bike cute, but they were. 
they're like usually small engines too 125 cc 250 cc but you know because they were two stroke engines they had a lot of power a lot of power and you have to mix in the gasoline and the two strokes you have to mix the gasoline with oil yourself so you would always smell like oil and gas and it made you one with the bike you know the whole basically making your own bike's food it was like you know taking care of your baby you know whereas you know the bigger bikes you go to the gas station like a car a random guy pours in gas in your tank or you know you go to Costco fill up your bike yeah. but when you had to mix your own gas for your own bike it made it more personal made the bike like you a little bit more you know it's like taking care of your baby and they were light you know they were light so if you fell on you you didn't really hurt yourself and you know you could ride them on the road and take them off road that was a great place to ride would be a golf course you know if you're in and out on a golf course and a motocross you're gonna have fun and nobody minds if you're in and out a problem is when you hang around the green too much and then people get pissed for some reason but yeah the 70s motorcycles were the best I don't think anything looks as good as the Yamahas and the Hondas and I was a big Yamaha fan myself big Yamaha fan myself I wasn't a fan of Honda at all actually Yamaha was the place to be it's like a little uh, so these little boutiques are really cool you know it's just ah, interesting street interesting street self storage you store stuff here i guess uh, a couple of these alleyways those houses at the end look pretty cute too we got a biker stop for a ride on a sunday a rainy sunday in the city but it didn't rain that much it was promised rain all day but uh, is this open this convenience store is not open Garage sale, it's, no, it's close, close. Like it's not close for a day, it's just close, close. And this thing's, I have no idea what this is, like I was saying before. That's kind of an interesting shot of it. I have no idea. That's many. I guess it's some sort of a hospital. Okay, we're crossing the street. Back to this alleyway with Jimi Hendrix and a bunch of 70s. And this, um, this food trucks are interesting that they're open. I look back very slowly of this area. Good. Was that slow enough? People are sometimes say it moves fast, but you know, we're a point of view action camera. We've got to be a little bit action, you know, just, just a touch, you know. Just wear your seatbelt while you're watching the film. You know, these. Um, street food vendors i always wonder where do they wash their hands before they're serving the food and all that i always wondered about the street and hot dog carts and all that anyway how are you all right so we're back on queen street so this is where we're going to end the ride thank you for riding with me we'll uh, catch you on the next ride thank you and see you later bye bye out